Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today we have a special episode. We're going to talk about twin flames. We're not going to so much as talk about them, but we're going to do a bit of a meditation or activation maybe. Some kind of an energetics kind of vibe going on here. And I said, um, actually, I'm sharing the Sunday morning coffee episode right before I'm sharing on Above Life Channel, my weekly channeling, um, where I'm actually talking about the topic of twin flames and soulmates with an afterlife celebrity guest. So this is actually preceding that. So you're going to get this ahead of that. But this converse, this uh, twin flame energetic connection is something that I think I was curious about in order to be able to actually help you understand this a bit more and for myself. So when I see the energy of twin flame, I see purple, the violet flame, which is often connected or associated with the Ascended Master Saint Germain, right? And that energetic vibration can also be connected to Metatron, and it can be used for healing, it can be used for advanced cognition, it can be used for advanced healing techniques and strategies, and it can also be used for communication. It can be used for reunification as well is part of what is coming through for me. As I'm connecting with you right now, I'm also connecting with the energies of Saint Germain and also the energies of Archangel Metatron, okay? So that's what's coming through. So when I see twin flame, I see a violet flame that is split into two. And when the two become one, it becomes kind of this golden and silver intertwined energy. And it's kind of gold at the center and then outside the outline is silver. Now for me, most recently in my own spiritual work, I have worked with the alchemical energies of masculine feminine. And for me personally, in my body, in my energetic body and in my human body, the embodiment of my divine masculine is very silver and my divine feminine is very gold. And so this is how it works for me. So this is how I'm going to share this. Okay, so I always say to you when I'm working in psychic, doing psychic work or in spiritual sessions or as a mentor, as a teacher, as a speaker, I always say that my perspective is mine. Like I'm sharing through my lens of my personal experience. And that includes all my biases and my filters and my 40 plus years on this earth have given me a lot of those. So I'm very careful to say to you that the way that I share and express this and the way that I enter into this with you and help to facilitate a connection for you regarding this concept of twin flame within yourself, it is through those lensings or those layers of filters, which means for you, I highly encourage you to explore this, to go deeper with this. You probably already have. There's lots of spiritual teachers out there on YouTube and who've written books and are um, lots of, of great resources about twin flames. There's also lots of bad resources too, <laughs> okay? So go with your intuition and what feels in soul alignment for you at this time and guess what? that also evolves over time because I never would have thought that I'd be having this conversation about twin flames with you here on the podcast for Sunday morning coffee, but here we are. All right, so let's feel in. First of all, there is a distinction between soulmate and twin flame. And the twin flame is a deeper energetic connection and intertwining wherein if you consider it a tree, energy, like where roots of a tree kind of branch out and arc out. And the root system, <coughs> it's like a ball. It's actually connected together. It's one root system. It's not a grove of trees. It's not multi layers of, of different trees kind of intertwining with each other and kind of overlapping. It is literally not the roots that spread out and go deep into the earth. It's the ball. It's a ball core piece and then roots that spread out from there. Using this visualization, I think makes more sense to help you understand how twin flame energies can feel so complicated. It can feel so hard to be with energy of a twin flame and so hard to be separate from the energy of twin flame because the truth is you never are separate. 
So I would much more recommend having fun with the soulmate energies because you've had a lot of, a lot of mates in many of your soul lifetimes in your incarnation. So you have multiple choices and options for a soulmate. It can show up as a best friend, as a kid in your life, uh, a godchild, a, a child, a parent, a, a brother, sister, a, a really great friend, or a lover, okay? It could be a coworker, it could be all sorts of people, a soulmate, right? And so have fun with that because the twin flame piece is extremely serious <laughs> and it's far more psychically and alchemically advanced. It requires a new level of yourself beyond a regular, conscious, intuitive person. It requires a higher desire for healing and an understanding of vibrational energy and experiences that if you're gonna be in a relationship with someone like that, it's much more of a, almost a tantric, um, um, etheric, um, ecstatic connection that isn't all fun and games. It is very deeply woven and tied to your personal healing and for the goal ultimately of advancement for the two souls that are one. So the peace of your souls that you share. So when the two purple violet flames come together and then form this kind of merge emergent energy of this gold at the core, divine feminine, from my perspective, and this outline in silver that's encasing it, holding it to keep it safe and sacred. The honoring and devotion to the divine feminine would be the divine masculine. That's how it represents for me. And then there's actually like a center point. So it looks like for me, that root ball looks like it. the root ball is a circle with gold in the center, representing my divine feminine, the alchemy, that liquid light, the lava, and then the silver outlining it, the circle, the holding, the safe and sacred container, divine masculine, and then right down the center of it, allowing that pranic tube like of our spine almost going straight down or that Leia Wesh, which is the pillar of light, going right through that, not to divide or separate, but to hold a center core like a pole in between so that there are two spheres of this or two parts or pieces of this that can then come back and click together at a center point of energy. This is how I see this intuitively, psychically, and etherically. And I'm sharing this with you as new advanced information for me. So this is a very high level Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. So let's connect into the alchemical energies of Twin Flame. Okay, let's feel into that just a little bit. And let me share with you through this channeled energetic connection what that could mean for you and how it can show up in your life. All right, so you're ready for a little bit of meditation, a little bit of meditation. All right, I have to get some water here because I've got to have uh, this, this kind of energy flow, right? You need a lot of water to balance that hot, hot fire energy which is how it feels that alchemy for me is the very fire induced and the water is the balancing out for me. It's not the adversary um, or the counteracting. It is really the, the, the flow state of energy that honors the, the movement and the essence of life, that water, which balances my fire. So it's really quite perfect, the masculine feminine for me. Hmm. So I ask you to take a moment to just take a breath in and an exhale out with intention. I'm going to ask you to visualize that silver pole, silver tube of light right down the spinal column from the top of your head, coming into your body, centering all of your energy, the energy of all the chakras. Now there are seven primary energy centers of the body, the chakras that you work with in yoga or meditation. However, there are really millions of light particles that are tiny chakra points within all of the energy cells of your being, literally lighting you up like a Christmas tree and that energy it's profound and beautiful and vibrant and brilliant. So there are more than just the seven chakras and there's seven colors. There are so many more really beautiful ecstatic parts of you. And so as you are focusing on this silver tube, 
centering the energies I want you to also be aware of this light body that you have like a Christmas tree with little flickering fairy lights all around you okay I'm gonna ask for a beautiful circle of pure white divine light to encompass you and fold you to create safe and sacred space as we connect in dropping down into the low belly just below your belly button into the cauldron energy or the womb space if you're working with divine feminine often associated with the color orange and the fire element however the masculine energy is also grounding and rooting so at the base of that low low belly that sacral chakra we have the root wrapped in the energy of that root ball which is also divine feminine do you see how these two energies masculine feminine are working together intersecting interwoven like a dna strand back and forth and back and forth like multiple layers upon layers of an infinity sign the number eights setting straight up and down and horizontally so vertically and horizontally just creating a cellular structure a a very solid core channel for all of the energy to move and thrive and pulse and the encasement of all of these figure eights, these energies of infinity, are housed with a masculine sense of essence of structure, providing structure, not to derail or detract from the core essence of the feminine, for she is that liquid, catalytic light. She is the catalyst that creates the change. She is the catalyst that creates the earth. She is the catalyst that embodies life itself. And she is the taste that you crave. She is the unseen and the unspoken. She is what you feel that calls you and pulls you into the desire to want to know what your life purpose is, to want to have deeper meaning in your relationships, to want to have a deeper understanding of why you are so drawn to the sun in the morning sky, or why you feel such a dreamy longing for the stars in the night sky. All of these things are alchemical, connected to divine masculine, divine feminine, and are representative of twin flames. The two, the masculine and feminine, as one whole, the oneness, and as we separate into parts, there are two parts of us that go out into the world, that show up and incarnate into the world, that also, yes, hold the memnos of the masculine while they embody the feminine, and of the feminine while they embody the masculine, and of either or and both they, them energies. They, them energies. Does that sound familiar? This is not body specific nor gender specific. This is transcendent, transcendent of the pure basic terms of human, of the human expression of a body, but it houses and holds through its biology the nature of the alchemical means to transmute and translate the energy of the opposite that which is the opposite, that which will balance and complete the wholeness. So the masculine and feminine energy and the twin flame energies are very similar. You need both of these parts of you, regardless of how you lead, how you express, how you feel, what your body type is. It's not about gender. It's not about soul type. It is transcendent and the encompassing of the whole because the whole was one and then becomes two. What was one becomes two, not to separate or tear apart, but to open, to unfold for the opportunity then to go out into the world, to express, to gather, to collect experiences as an embodied human and then come together at some point, maybe in this lifetime maybe here as you are now in this lifetime, to know, to reignite, to unite, to activate deeper healing, transcendent healing, more profound calling toward your highest version of incarnated self, which can create challenges and struggle. And struggle is natural and challenge is natural. It's how you grow and your unfolding enhances and encourages those opportunities. And so too does your twin flame. 
he, she, they, them will call you into the reflected version of what you do not like of yourself so that you may correct and choose into an alignment back into that cellular structure of the infinity energies that are at the core center of that that beautiful silver pillar of your body, honoring the essence of that gold alchemical energy pulsing from the womb state of you, from that core sacral chakra up into the solar plexus and then beaming out the rays of light, that golden yellow purposeful soulful work of your expression, of your pure and blissful love in this lifetime. And this is where twin flame comes into play with love the expression of love, because that's all it is, is pure love. That's what it is at its core, it's pure love. And the human body and the mind have a really hard time understanding and processing, and the mind can never really understand this. So you must experience twin flame energy as an energetic experience, as an energetic practice, an advanced quantum healing in up-leveling the energy of the vibration of your body through what you eat and how you treat your body and how the temple that holds the capacity for the connection of twin flame energy to be in the most profound state of awareness and access while also being a very real human being, which you are. So within you, you're not looking for someone else, another person embodied. You may be looking for a soul facet of yourself that you recognize in another person that comes into you, clicks in during that expression or connection, good, bad, or other with that other being, and you gain that piece of your soul back and it clicks into place and then you have the reunion. This is what the twin flame energy's goal is. This is what the purpose is. This is what the intent is, the reuniting for the advancement of not just you in this lifetime, but all souls that have en en encountered you and all the expressions that you will then share because of who you are and how you are leading through your day-to-day -day life while you're going to the grocery store, while you're going to your job, while you're dropping your kid off at daycare, while you're writing your book, while you're painting in your studio, while you're making music. while you're healing from that surgery in all of the ways that you are a human being. This is the embodiment. This is the intent. It is not an either or. It is an us, they, them, a both and an all. It is oneness. You are not separate. You are always at the precipice and the opportunity of wholeness. This is what Twin Flame is. Breathe in and exhale out. Feel that violet flame opening up like a lotus in your heart chakra. The purple imagery of the energy of a flame in the heart imbued with that crystalline light that looks very silvery when I see that. You might see some yellow and golden energy also coming out the top crown of that beautiful lotus that is the purple flame, that is the violet flame. Archangel Metatron stepping in to honor that energy up and down the spine to allow it to permeate and go into any parts of your physical, emotional, etheric bodies, your light body that chooses to accept and receive this healing transcendent energy at this time. And if not, you can come back to this beautiful imagery of this glowing violet flame lotus and dip into it and feel into it and sit inside of it, wrapping its beautifully softened blossoms, the petals around you to cocoon you in safe and sacred space as you meditate on these energies, as you receive these energies for you, where you're at right here, right now, at this time in your life. So breathing in and exhaling out. This is the gift for you today in regards to twin flame energy. You can stay in this blissful state as long as you choose to. Give yourself permission, but know that when you come back into your full awareness of self, stretch your body, touch your hips and your knees, touch your feet, stand up and stretch, 
go outside, breathe the air, touch a tree, give yourself the energy of vibrational grounding and physical tangible touch. When you touch, you come back. Click yourself back into place so that you are in alignment, body, mind, heart, and soul to present yourself into the very real human world. This is Bridget. I'm a psychic medium and an intuitive life coach. It is my pleasure to be able to connect with you every week at Above Life Channel on YouTube with Sunday Morning Coffee, our podcast on Sundays and on Mondays with our weekly channeling session. You can also find me on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube where I talk about all things intuitive and I share some vlogging about my psychic life on on the Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel as well. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, Bridget Inspired. Thanks for being here.